12th, second grade, Minecraft code. That's all I have to say. On the home page, slide down for technology. Click technology. On the online tech page, slide down and pick second grade. Click second grade. Today's Google Classroom assignment says second grade computer programming. This is lesson seven. Coding Minecraft. Continue to watch this video lesson then click the link to code Minecraft. Practice lessons one through 14 today. Are you ready? Click the link code.org course C to code Minecraft. Let's watch the video together. My name is Jens Bergensten, but I'm better known as Jeb. I'm the lead developer of Minecraft here at Mojang in Stockholm. I think I was 11 or maybe 12 and I started a, a programming because I wanted to make games and one of my father's friends told me that in order to make games you need to learn to how to program. So, that, so that's how I got started. I, I like designing and figure out, figuring out the architecture of, of things. That's what, what I really like about Minecraft. Over the next hour, you're going to learn the basics of computer science by programming Alex or Steve to move through a simulated piece of a Minecraft world. Traditional programming is usually in text, but today we'll use Blockly, a system which uses visual blocks that you can drag and drop to write programs. Under the hood, you're creating JavaScript code. The concepts that you'll be learning are what computer programmers use every day and are the foundation to computer science. Here at Mojang, we use these same concepts to make Minecraft work. Before you start, you'll pick your character. I'm going to choose Alex. Let's build code for a program that will help her move around the screen. Your screen is split into three main parts. On the left is the Minecraft play space, where your program will run. The instructions for each level are written below. This middle area is the toolbox and each of these blocks is a command that directs Alex's actions. The white space on the right is called the workspace and this is where we'll build our program. If we drag the move forward block to our workspace and then click run, what happens? Alex moves forward one space on the grid. And what if we wanted to do something after she moves forward one space? We can add another block to our program. I'm going to choose the turn right block and I'll drag it underneath my move block until this orange line appears. Then I'll drop it and the two blocks will snap together. When we press run again, Alex will perform the commands that are stacked from top to bottom in our workspace. And if you ever want to delete a block, just drag it from the stack back to the toolbox. To undo your changes and get back to how the level started, use the start over button in the top right corner of the workspace. One more thing. You see the little triangle on the turn blocks? Anytime you see these triangles, it means that you can pick a different option. Let's start coding. When the video is over, hit the X. Who are you going to be? Choose your character, Steve or Alex. Add a second move forward block to reach the sheep. Click OK. Now hit run. Go on to the next lesson. Click continue. Wood is a very important resource. Many things are made from it. Walk to the tree and use the destroy block command to chop it down. Let's try it. Move forward. Move forward. Destroy block. 
hit run. We got it. Click continue. It's sheep shearing time. Use the shear command to gather wool from both sheep. Let's move forward, move forward, shear. Turn left. Not left, but right. Move forward and shear. Let's try it out. Click run. Nice job. Click continue. It says we need to build a house before the sun goes down. Houses require a lot of wood. Cut down all three trees. It says we've put some blocks here to get you started. Can you knock down all three trees? This is puzzle four. See how far you can get today. Lessons include four all the way through 14. See how much fun you can do coding Minecraft this week. And I'll see you next time.